What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Exordia Man. I got my boy Avi. Hello. What are you doing today? Hello. Uh, I talked with uh, Drytron. Oh yeah, you got your invite today? All I right, did it. All right, all right, all right. With the Drytron! <laughs> yeah. 2024, right? Oh. <laughs> all right, you got 10 plays. You got his invite, so let's get into the list. You want to yep. do a shout out before you get into the list? Yeah, shout out to Jerome. He gave me some cards that I got for you. Shout out to the boys. The oh, Jerome! The bug life! You know, yeah. Shout out to the crew, basically. Yeah. All right, well, wasn't much to it. All right, shout out to Wendy's for the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, <laughs> let's get into the list, bro. Yeah, so I mean, you know, pretty standard. Standard Triple for the Turn it around, broski. There you go. Triple Thuban. For obvious reasons, Drytron, right? Mm -hmm, Triple mm -hmm. Thuban and uh, Aldiba, whatever his name is. Uh, double Gammas. Gamma! And the one Atlas, and that's the Drytron Monsters. Drytron. For the fairies of the deck, you got orange. obviously Triple Orange Light. <laughs> Uh, one vanity ruler. Oh my god. And the main, because if you go first, this is almost an auto win button. What the? Yeah, you just summon that shit, and for the most part, nothing. I can re definitely see the opponent's face, like, what? Yeah, if the? they don't have the imperm or the droplet, then just pick it up. We go game two, really just uh, uh, stationary, yeah. and it. And, Sad uh, face all around. And it really just uh, depletes the time. You don't, you don't really, you don't really waste time into game one. You know, right. uh, obviously triple diviner. Mm -hmm. That's it for the fairy monsters. Then you get the hand traps. The only actual viable hand traps would be the droll and lockbirds alongside with the, with the orange lights. Oh right, yeah, ash blossom. Yeah, only one. Yeah, only one. Yeah, it's Wait. once per turn, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's once per turn, bro. You can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you know the ritual monsters. Uh, you got the cyber angel set up, so you have that. You got the Edaton, and obviously the triple Ben Ten, for obvious reasons. You know Ben Ten. You know. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you got the Natasha. Natasha. Because this card is broken. Yeah, yeah. Life points gain. <laughs> and then, obviously the Drachnoids, because okay. yeah, you, it's pretty stand. That's pretty standard. Spell um, cards. To the spell. Yes. Spell cards, triple emergency. This is pretty standard. Uh, triple Nova. Uh, I went with three prep. Huh? For consistency in the main, try to just get to my play as fast as possible. If I do go first, just spam the ruler. If they have droplet, then that's cool, but set up in a way that I can at least perform interruptions. There you are. Uh, prosperity in the deck because you want to see your sides. Uh, it helps you see the sides, especially when I play one ofs as well. I, I play a few one ofs, so the prosperity lets me get access to that. Also, it gives me access to evenly if I'm going second. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like to main the evenly because in the event that I have to go second, I have a blowout, and then in the event that I go first in the game match, I can try to vanity ruler lock, which is pretty, uh, pretty valid strategies for this deck. Um, uh, double because somehow if they banish the first one you're pretty much dwindling your plays so you definitely you know it's a blanket playing the second one um, also if you have both of these and you do wombo combos with it it's actually pretty insane if you have two of them uh, and it makes the ceiling a little bit higher uh, and then for the end of the spell you got double triple T because if you get Droll and Lockbird you at least see your opponents play try to gun the gamma um, you can really just uh, the deck's pretty stationary where you know you can combat the Droll with an orange light push comes to shove but if you don't you have this which is uh, almost just as good to be honest um, you pretty much go tit for tat okay. uh, and then for traps you have uh, triple imperm which for obvious reasons and then double evenly in the main Ooh. in the event that you go first you know people do unfair stuff so why don't you just do something unfair back right okay. so that's the main We'll start with the, then the extra deck? Yeah, I'll start with the extra deck. For extra deck, uh, double move beta. It's pretty stationary. Uh, one Lyrilis for the Zeus play. The Zeus play. And the Beatrice. Those are the XYZs I use for the deck. Mm -hmm. For Lynx, you got one Anima. I wanted to use Link Karibo, but honestly, the Anima did its job. It did, it did it did a lot, you know, and it performed pretty well. But I, I also think it was just because my opponent was pretty faint and he neglected the zones. So this really uh, took advantage of that. Uh, you got IP because, you know, it's level two. You, I mean, Drytron's pretty standard. Little Knight, for obvious reasons, you need one. 
get yourself a little knife if you don't have it. Oh, this sounds good. <laughs> um, I was debating between this and Axis Code Talker, but this is just way better. This just performs the OTK when you need to. Um, this in an orange light is pretty awesome. Uh, it won me, won me a few games actually this way. Uh, Apple for going first if you want to lock it down. Um, you can also IP into Apple mid play and then just try and cut them off that way. Um, obviously Apple, pretty stationary. Uh, last link is Underworld Goddess because it's Underworld Goddess. It's a good out to towers. You can spam with the deck and it pretty much, it's, it's pretty much a link deck on top of, you know, like a, a ritual deck. So a link five is not hard to do. And then you got double orange light, you know, uh, mm -hmm. for targets for uh, Diviner. But also you can normal summon the Ash or the hot Ghost Bell and just go into this hard <laughs> yeah. with, a, with a Drytron, if anything. Um, you got the Entis for the, obviously, the Diviner target. Mm -hmm. And then the last extra deck card was the Pilgrim. Yeah, this won me a few games, actually, because everyone, like, neglected the fact that Beatrice floats. So they just kept popping it, and then this thing came out, and yeah, it just uh, kept decreasing the resources so that, you know, uh, when it came to late plays, I could just use Natasha and just finish taking their board after, you know, this reduces all their okay. resources. That's really dope. That was really dope. Sideboard, or you keep it to yourself? I, you, I mean, it, I change it all the time, so. All right. Yeah. So, uh, so sideboard, I have two Valor for obvious reasons. If you're going against Rescue Ace, you don't want the dude to freaking uh, do the ambulance to set for. That's crazy, right? Why would you do that? So, and Perm and this on top of it. Let's make sure he doesn't do that. Yeah. All right. You got one Ghost Bell. Same reasoning I, I side. The same reason I made the Ash at one is this is sided at one because this is once per turn. I don't want to see it again. I don't want to see two. Mm -hmm. um, the deck is already relying on once per turns. Like, you got a whole bunch of once per turn cards already. Ready. So you don't really want to um, overflow your deck with a whole bunch of cards that go once per turn Because if you draw two cards that go once per turn on top of your Drytron that you draw two of and go on once per turn Your hand's pretty fickle a lot, you okay. know, so I just try to reduce the bricks with it by uh, dropping the one of to cards that are just once per turn using them at the most pivotal point and it was very beneficial for me um, knowing the knowledge as much as I could uh, stopping the stuff at the pinnacle, yep. at the pinpoints when I know when to stop them. That's when I would only use the Ash or the Velvet then. Um, you got Lancia because if I ran into Flunderies, I was going to kill myself. So, I literally, Ooh, yeah, I did not want, I just didn't want to play against the Flu matchup. This was mostly against the Flu matchup, to be honest. Damn, Wendy's. Um, <laughs> it did also mess up a few other people's plays. Like, I was playing Rescue Ace and they couldn't get into the Turbulence. Okay. They couldn't banish two for the Turbulence, which was pretty good. Um, it cuts off stuff that you think. And then, coming into the, the format, I think this card's uh, pretty viable coming into next format. Um, uh, one of the same reason I play one ofs of any card that's once per turn. <laughs> uh, it's just one. It's just one. You only get one, bro. It's just one. Yeah. It's uh, wide. Double Dark Ruler no more because this would make it three. Why would you fill it up with anything else? This is the hard once per turn. This is not once per turn. That's my common sense about it. That's my logic about it. You got three Cosmic Cyclone for obvious reasons. We're gonna, mm. you know, we're blowing up that Fire King Island anytime we see it. Uh, we're gonna banish that birth if we see it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's obviously okay. everyone's playing this card right now. It's fairly popular mm, and yes. it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, you got the one Feather Duster because why wouldn't you play the Feather Duster, right? Broken. And then uh, lastly, I have Triple Solemn Judgment for going first. In the event that I lose the game, go first. I'll just try the, the I will try the Vanity Ruler lock. I got a Herald with it and then a Solemn. Uh, good luck. All right, man. Um, yeah, and that was it. That was it. <laughs> All right, Dilsas!